Welcome back to Deadly Sin. We're going to, I guess, they said the southwest? Is that here? This is the Herald Lighthouse. I don't think this is where the main quest is, but I think this is where some of the side quests were. No skills! Okay. Oh, no big deal. Alright. Oh, there's a little pink crystal. So that so they do have that mechanic is still in the games. It looks like pickpocketing is still in as well. Still using the same battle music, though. What's all this stuff for? Oh, we got an actual enemy now. We're still using magic and energy, so I'm assuming there'll be someone with overdrive at some point. Man, this this path I took has like no fun stuff. Okay. Well, the light's on. Time for more encounters! Hey! Oh, that's a nice little bump! Looks like uh, these characters are gonna have some serious hit points on them. The first Deadly Sin game kept everything in the triple digits, but we're definitely going into the quadruple digits this time. Now we gotta go all the way back. So energy for Egg Boy has to be ch built up, it looks like, much like uh, Overdrive. In the first Deadly Sin game, energy just started at maximum. Okay. I am perfectly fine with fighting encounters. In this early stage, I don't need to worry about uh, the shards yet. I don't need to worry about uh, the... Oh, okay. So they don't need pickpocketing. I don't need to worry about those uh, diamonds. If I, if I find one, I find one. Looks like we're not getting skill points during the battle. Maybe the crystal's the only way to get them, or maybe they only happen at leveling up.
All right. All right, that's all good. There's that crystal. Ah, oh, not able to get it yet. Monster Node Shard. Okay, so... Grants one skill point to a party member. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, I got skill points. Alright. That's actually always... That's kind of a useful one. Command Aura, I like that. I like that one too. I'm not gonna worry about these yet. Okay. And then, what's Horsel got? Flame Beta. Okay, alright, alright. Yeah, definitely want that. I'll definitely do that. MP regeneration is a big deal. Alright, so now we can heal. So that's good. Oh, wait a minute. Look at all these chests. Mage Blade? Oh man. Okay, so that's for that other side quest. Alright, let's... Go back this way. There's one more room, I think. Yep. So it looks like it was worth going out of our way. We gained a couple levels. We got some extra skill points. We got some equipment. That can be sold, I'm pretty sure. So can the Emerald and Ruby, I think. Or maybe this is one of the games where the gems are used as um, augmenting, because I saw there was an augment menu. So I'm pretty much done here. Now we're going to... I think this cave... Well, first, let's report these and get whatever reward we're gonna get. Okay. Ooh! That makes it worth it. Um... Where was the other person? Oh, there's like a gem shop.
Okay. Let's shop for accessories. Now I can equip them. That works for me. That's what I was worried about. It's a two-handed sword. Well, maybe I can give it to the next party member. Everything goes down a little bit, the ink goes up, so yeah, I'll do that. And the ink goes up further. Now where was the woman? Oh, I think they were by the... Oh, it was her. Ooh! Is that sellable? Maybe it's an uh, accessory. Ah! Well, who needs. Oh, uh, yeah, he needs it more for now. I may take it away from him for the next party member, but yeah. Alright. So that was worth it. Now let's continue on with the story. Although, I think we're going to a dungeon first. Should probably you spend those skill points. Yeah, do that. That way I don't have to worry about curing percentage number let's see let's see how augments work oh that's right I got a new thing So let's try augmenting it. Wait. Can I not do I Can I not do it if they have it equipped? Take care of that later, I guess. I, I have to figure that out. I gotta wrap my head around it. Now, these goos ain't do anything. I guess because they're just they're goo. They're not sentient.
Seems like in the early going that leveling up is pretty important. Because there are huge jumps in HP. And the jumps may not be as significant when you, once you're in the quadruple digits. Save the third one. Uh, that hole was made for me. It's a kindergarten. Sign that says nothing. <laughs> Silly rats. The battles aren't as difficult in this early going as the opening battles of um, the first game were. Nerve root. I'm wondering if there will be any um, perma buff items like the seals of vigor in the first game. Nobody there. up so they have yeah they have a couple um should probably have one for each and then for him okay command aura is pretty important as the first game would tell you the hole. A critical hit? That was a... That's interesting. They actually will mark it down. In the first game, they did not um, tell you if a crit hit happened. There would just be like a sound effect. They're trying to be a lot more clear with their conveyance. Also, it's cl they're, they're, what they're saying here is that you're incapacitating enemies. You're not killing them. You're just, you know, giving them a nap. All 
All right, let's take a look around. What? What blue one? Is there a blue one on this side? Cha-cha slide. I mean, I did it. I did it, though. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Don't put timing elements in your RPG Maker game. RPG Maker is not meant to handle that sort of thing. You get like a CD bar in this dungeon? She's a magic stripper. <laughs> Okay. What? <laughs> what a mean trick. Ruby's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's not a ridiculous name like Carry On.
Eggboy Iblis. Or Solavarian. Way to be a sexist prick, Eggboy. Pretty sure you will be breaking the rules. Okay, so now I can give her... ...a couple of the... ...shards. Oh yeah, bloodlust is an important skill. It looks like they balanced it a little bit. Oh, we've got buttons! This is a proper dungeon. Alright. So, tune in next time, and we'll continue the adventures of Eggboy, Horsel, and Ruby on another episode of Deadly Sin 2. Just grab a snack, and, you know, we'll be right back. No big deal.